that everybody would watch about him. Uh -oh. So, so I mean, it just <laughs> didn't start and end that way. It actually was all about those generals. The, I mean, look at the, wow. the power of the people on that stage, Sandra. And then he got into it. And I mean, it was like a minute. Wait, hold on. I have to seize this moment because Julie has been shaking her head the entire time. <laughs> right, Julie? And you might be the first person <laughs> might have after an that to say it was <laughs> on air right now. <laughs> first of all, this was akin to my suddenly saying to everybody right now, <laughs> Everything that I've said for the last several years on this couch, I take back. I think Donald Trump is great. Let me take off my mic and walk out of here. I think you would all have some questions about that if I were to suddenly completely change my tune, right? You wouldn't. Well, have, we would follow you. Yeah, you would follow me out there. Right? <laughs> we, we just want to know what's going on. We'll just do exactly right. You do a walkout. I'd, I have some answers. How? Why is President Obama suddenly now? somebody who's a natural born citizen secondly excuse me there's no evidence whatsoever and i would love somebody to provide it that hillary clinton or anybody affiliated with her campaign including no mark cares. including mark penn but this is what he wait, said wait but Julie, go back to the question was this effective on the part of donald but let me Trump? just finish my point and then i'll answer that question there's no evidence that anybody on the Clinton campaign said that he was not a natural born citizen and Nobody therefore cares. ineligible to serve. Oh. Third of all, was it effective? No, because many of us have questions. Everybody no. should have questions. Right. This is not going to put to bed five years of completely horrific right. statements so two, on his so part. So two things, George. Yeah, Let me jump in here for one second. According to Telegraph article back in April of 2008, it was a, Bar it was a Hillary Clinton supporter who passed around an email that questioned where uh, Barack Obama, then candidate, was born. So that's how, and so oh. then the question becomes, does it even matter no. all of that. Brian Fallon with her uh, campaign has just weighed in on this in a tweet saying this Trump doubled down on a live filled statement from his campaign last night and took no responsibility for his bigoted attacks on pre on our president. So we've got that on the screen right now. Judge your reaction. OK, this is why I disagree with you, Julie, because Yes, there is no evidence, and there never will be evidence that it was campaign generated. But the American public knows how politicians play these games. They know that they start a rumor, they get it going, and then the politician gets out there and goes, Well, I don't know if that's true, uh, but if people whoa, are saying that, whoa, it should whoa, be investigated. Whoa. And then cares. they take the high road. Nobody cares. And, nobody oh, yes, cares they do. Any, no, nobody cares about any of these issues. They don't care about who started it and who finished it. All it is is there's a headline we were forced to watch for like an hour and a half. Right. People stand out there and endorse Trump. Then he walked up. And of course, the president was born here and dropped the mic and walked out the so stage. It was political. And let's get back so to what business. Is, it, it, what does Hillary, Hillary, cares what does Hillary Clinton's campaign do now? I just Why read the statement cry? from from Brian Fallon. I Why want to get cry? your reaction to it, <laughs> Judge. I just read it a moment ago. I want to get your reaction to it. Brian Fallon this from the campaign is saying that he doubled down. On what he said last no, he night. Didn't. I don't think he doubled no, he down. He, he did the opposite. He, he specifically he said, said he is the president, uh, was born in America. That's over. Let's move on. What changed his mind? What, so what, is, mind? what does Hillary I don't, do now? I don't no, no, but seriously, six, six years, I'm sorry, but close to six years, now, five years of him saying the president was not born here, of sending investigators to Hawaii to search out the truth, of implying Wait, Julie, the president is a foreign yeah, citizen but, who's, who's said here is a man. So what is next from Hillary Clinton? What Hillary Hillary Clinton? Clinton? I'd all like some answers. Candidates, all the candidates change their mind and nobody, change your mind they do it based all the time. What? No, 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 uh, you know, judge, judge, President judge, Obama and Hillary Clinton judge, changed their mind on gay marriage and said, well, my opinion is evolved. One person. Wait, stop, no. In 2011, he produced his birth certificate as recently as 2014 and 15. Donald Trump right. is still pushing this discredited theory. Right. What has changed? So I don't think I'm going to get an answer from you on what Hillary will do next. <laughs> I'll tell but you I right want now. to talk about 2011 because in 2011, Trump said, I am really honored, frankly, to have played such a big role in hopefully getting rid of this issue. He said, Today I'm very proud of myself because I've accomplished something nobody else has been able to do, and that was get the president to release his Julie, birth certificate. Do you want me to, you want me to, so, want me to read ahead. you quote after quote and tweet? after tweet of his well after 2011, 2012, 2014. But you brought up 2011 and this issue of the birth certificate. Donald Trump takes uh, responsibility. Excuse me. Well, credit no, for no, it. No, no, no. But in 2011, what, that he got or Barack Obama to release his exactly. birth certificate? Hold well, on. Let's talk about right now, Julie. He never legitimized it. 2013, 14. He never legitimized it. Julie, talk that. about now. Yes. What is important for the American voter? Should Hillary Clinton, to Harris's question, moving forward, should she stay on this? Voters don't see this as an important issue for no, them. No, no, talk about her. Is it an important issue? Should, I'm not saying it's not an no, important I'll issue. Voters do not no, see no, this no. as an Let important me tell you issue does. at this moment. Does Hillary Clinton, should she stay on it? I disagree with that premise. You know who sees this as a... The African-American The African-American yeah, yeah, which is why he said she started it. 100%. So wait, 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 wait. wait. I, I have to get in here with this question. The birther issue was also brought up about Ted Cruz. He's a Canadian. That's why, so, I, that's why right, I disagree with... Let me finish. With why is it racist with Barack Obama and not with Ted Cruz? Why, why does it get to that point when you 
brought up the same, not you personally, but I mean when the same issue was brought up in the primaries about Ted Cruz being that's a what, Canadian. That's what, that's what I was saying when, I when, they, when they keep saying he's bigoted, when he says in that statement his, he's doubling down on his bigoted statement. Why is it bigoted? He's challenging whether he was born in the U.S. He challenged whether Ted Cruz could run for Wait president. Exactly. It's not bigoted. So Cruz, Julie, take it away. I'll tell you why. Because Ted Cruz actually was not born in the United States. He was born in Canada. Now, whether he's eligible to, eligible I said to, he's a Canadian. Eligible to run or not is a different issue. But when you have the first African-American president who's challenged on whether he is a natural born citizen because his name happens to be Barack Hussein Obama but that wasn't and not why. George Bush or nope. Bill Clinton. Excuse but that, me, but that's why not... did he choose Obama? Why didn't but, he choose Bush Clinton? But that wasn't why. why. According to the supporter, remember how they had that Puma movement? One of the words in that, it was, you know, people who were upset about how it had gone between Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama, and it ends in a bad word, that acronym for Puma. So oh, I won't say what it oh, means. Oh, but but that movement and those supporters were want, they were pushing this issue, and some of her supporters were asking based on on the birth of his father, based on other reasons. It wasn't just his name. Excuse me. But it go back to why does it apply here and not Paris, because, somebody like Because Ted some Cruz. random supporter who's a Puma, whatever that stands for, whoever these random people are, are not running to become the president of the United States. He has become a national political figure mm. on the back of this issue. Donald Trump was a reality I show it was the star. Wall. I thought mm. the wall no, no, no. Was why he's how did he first become how did he first get into the political consciousness? Well before the wall was because of this issue back in 2010, 2011. And that's exactly how he became I'm still not hearing candidate. whether or not, if you were advising, advising Hillary Clinton today, would you advise her after Donald Trump just came out yes. and dropped the mic on this he issue? He didn't drop the mic. He did. For many people, he did, Julie. So what, no, what on both sides that? of the aisle. I'm sorry, what but let's, let's be very... Let's should, move forward. She should, she should ask questions. We should all ask questions. Any journalist, I don't care what your but political she, persuasion, should ask questions. Can I say something? What made you change your mind today? But, Why today? Why not yesterday? I don't think we're going to hear what she should do Okay, first of all, I would love it if she did that because that's not a good strategy because she's just sitting there responding to him again. Yip, yip, yip at him, responding to him, responding to him, responding to him. She's losing that game. No, I, she's I, no. not talking no. about anything going Trust forward. I, when you're responding, you always say this, when you're responding to the other candidate, he's you're responding. losing. He's when responding. You're, when you're going forward with your ideas, you're winning. You think I, you I, I agree, with, wrong, I agree with Julie on this because I think that if if um, Hillary focuses on this. She tries to take, and the media will probably yeah. go right along with her. She'll pr try to they take should. the focus off of her recent problems, and her, she's been the the brunt of all the negative talk lately. And this is guys. This I'm sorry. Let me that. let me just go this back. An, this let, really is a non issue let's, for voters. Let's take off our nonpartisan hat. Let's put our partisan hats for a second. If I were literally to sit here right now and say everything that I've said previously about Donald Trump, I take back. I think he'd make America great again. I'm voting for Donald Trump. Would everybody on this couch That's not? not what he's would anybody on this couch? Obama. Would anybody on this couch not a hundred percent, one hundred eighty percent, one hundred eighty degree turn from what I had said previously. But that's actually Would you not, not what he's saying. Yes. Yes. He, he, that's he, previ what he's he previously saying. said Obama was not born here. He's now saying Obama was he, born here. Tell me why you believe he that, Donald Trump. He also previously took credit for the fact that the president put out his birth certificate. And years later, took credit for that and said that he now believed that he was born in the United States. Not and until he said today. It again today. Not until today. So why is that not, not okay? A, not until he today. He said he's. Honored to have played such a big role in hopefully getting rid of this issue. That, that was 2011, and then, the year that and you then, brought up. And then 2012, 2014, 13, 2014, right. they're so quote after from 2013 as well. Donald J. Trump. I'm just putting this out there so you know it's there. Uh, in 2013, March 22nd, he, he retweeted this. Honestly, who gives a blank? More bad language, sorry. <laughs> where Obama was born, it's where he lives now that's the problem. And then that was parenthetical. Donald Trump added interesting several exclamation points. So he was ready to move on at no, that point. No, he wasn't. Harris, you were cherry picking tweets. I can retweet and I will during the next commercial break. No, no, no. Five I'm just six, showing you some of the five, facts that are out there. Five or six or seven tweets subsequent to 2011 where he questioned the president's place right. of birth. No, that, let me so just, again, let me just to move I don't forward, think. again to move forward, judge, excuse me, what should Hillary Clinton do Hillary now? Clinton and the rest of us should demand answers. What made you change your mind about where President Obama was born? Why do you say today something you've been on? And why is that important? And what's the goal? What's the goal? The goal is to have somebody answer a question legitimately. You have delegitimized this president because you have said consistently he's no, not, he he, you're not eligible to be president of the United States because of 
of the fact that you're not a natural born citizen. You have failed in the constitutional test. So he says, I have believed that for years. So, today, to, that? today, I think that that is not the case any longer. Every time he said he wasn't born here, that's how. So he says now my opinion on that has evolved, like but, Hillary Clinton's and, and Barack no, Obama's no, 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 on other no, issues. Because if you're saying the president of the United States. Because all my was, cherry picking, if, as you if call you're, it, is in several pages saying, here. Let me find it. If you're saying the president of the United States was not born in this country, you are, and you're a lawyer, so you know this, you are inherently saying he's unconstitutionally eligible. He's Unqualified. Unqualified and All right. I will give Is that you not this what you're one. saying? Yes. I That's what he's been saying one. for years. Uh, Donald Trump retweeted this on November 2014. On the 23rd, Obama also fabricated his own birth certificate after being pressured to produce one. Uh, there you go. Two yeah. years later. So, so I mean, Judge, where do we go with this? I, I don't. I really don't think the public cares. No. I do think. I do agree with Julie that go. the African American community does care about this issue, and he threw it back onto Hillary's lap by saying it was started by the Hillary supporters. But I don't think the public cares. About this issue anymore. That's why I thought right. he was making 50, a mistake. What are we, 53, 53, 53 days, days out from the election, and you think that Hillary Clinton should stay I, focused on this after Donald Trump I, just said, yes. that's I will it? tell you why. If you're, 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 if you're an African American, if you're, I'm not speaking for all African Americans, but people who I know, in I'm Africa, one, I'm here. Fine, okay, well, I'm not speaking for you. You could speak for yourself, but there are people <laughs> who, did. who truly believe that he was delegitimizing this man because of the fact that he was an African American. And they would, they would never vote for him and they will never well, vote for him. One thing is for sure, as, I, as you got no me way. to dig through my, my, uh, my notes here, he has gone back and forth. And is that part of the previous discipline that people okay, were kind of calling Okay, but Julie, for? should we start laundry listing how many times a candidate has evolved so in this, about in this election now. season? Yeah, but this is a fundamental. This is not an evolution where I had one view on policy. Now I have a different one. If I, oh, okay. So it, where should it, we begin with Hillary Clinton? I'm for the Keystone Pipeline? That's no, I'm my not. point. That's where a, do we begin? That's a policy evolution. This is a fundamental test. You do not, you, Donald Trump, have said for many years that this man is unqualified constitutionally to be the president of the United States. What made you change your mind? She has explained why she's no longer. Okay, so you want to ask that. Here's a yeah. question just out of the recent news flow that I would ask. Our Jennifer Griffin asked Hillary Clinton in that meeting last Friday, how are your allergies? The response was better, good, right. not I have pneumonia. We didn't find that out till Sunday night. Was that a shift? Was that a change? That was a huge mistake, and I said oh, that on okay. the day. I said from day one that she mishandled it entirely. She should have been more forthcoming. Is I've that an issue in this campaign? Her health? Yeah. Yes. I, she should release her medical records. So should Donald well, Trump. And the fact that she lies about it. All right, so everybody's in agreement with well, that. Not just that she lies about it. She, she lied to her daughter about it? Or she didn't tell her daughter she had pneumonia? She didn't tell the vice president she had pneumonia? How do you know she didn't tell her daughter? Her husband so the daughter thinks she has she the flu, by the way. was on record. No, no, I mean, seriously, Sandra? either she told her daughter and her daughter lied about it, or she didn't tell her own daughter she had pneumonia. Here's, listen, I'm not going to say, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not defending her, I'm not defending her on what the health episode, I right. think that was a ridiculous so, version, so Sandra, but, this, but going back to the birther issue, that's a very different So we, oh here's the point that I was trying to get at, I mean, both these candidates obviously have gone back and forth on different issues, but everybody seems to agree that this most recent one with Hillary Clinton is one that voters would pay attention to. But go back to. to what just happened and Donald Trump stepped up to that podium after we heard from military leaders, genius, vet, war veterans, unbelievable, held the press captive, yeah. stepped up to that podium and said a couple sentences, cleared the air, period, walked off the stage. Yep. All I'm asking is, was that effective politically, Julie? And I still haven't heard It was your not effective politically for the reason I yes, said. Yes, it it's was. It's going to continue the discussion. Look no, at, it's look at not. Our, look, I guarantee you, tomorrow, no. everybody will still be you talking about it. How do they know they will? Oh, yes, they will. Oh, yes, they will. Okay. Okay. Right, because we know that people who support genius. Donald political Trump will political say it's genius. genius. People who support Hillary Clinton will say it's not effective. But what about that chunk of independence out there? Real quickly, and we'll move on. Uh, I, okay, I'm an independent myself. I. I frankly dislike both parties quite a bit but I don't care about the birther issue. I thought it was a huge mistake for him to do this. When, when I heard he was doing this, I go, like, he's, he's just self-destructing. And then when I watched it turn into a Donald Trump infomercial, and I knew everybody was watching because everybody was right? waiting to see the what's he actually going to announce. Everybody got to hear the generals. Everybody got to hear everybody talking Wait him up. And wreck. then he walked out and said, yeah, of course he was born in the U.S. That's it. But Hillary started it, and I ended it. You know why? Oh. Okay. Hold on. Off. Last word with the judge. Was it effective as an independent? Yes, I think it was All effective. Right, we'll move on. Do you need a glass of water, Julia? It's been a long time. I, I, no, it's not <laughs> a glass of water. I just she needs need, an I, IV. I, I, I need an IV to like get me out of the situation oh, where oh. somebody's just not telling the truth consistently. <laughs> Hillary. Oh, no, no, no. no. She she Donald Trump. Give me a break. Tell me why Donald.